Guys, are you running the Navitas kit? If you're not, you should be. Pretty awesome setup. But in this video, we're gonna show you some stuff that we get lots of questions on. Uh, it's gonna be stuff from updating your firmware to timing out on the controller and Bluetooth setup. Just some quick stuff. It's gonna be a real short video. I'm just trying to get this out there for you guys. Stay with us, let's get into this. So I'll be using the Apple iPhone 11 Pro. You can use any Apple phone or Android phone for this. You need to download the Navitas app and install and then we can get going. Okay, now that you have your app installed, you can open your app. This is gonna bring us to our main screen where we see our TAC 0531 series controller. We're going to tap on that and open it up. Okay guys, once it opens up, it's gonna bring you to your dashboard. I like to check and make sure my switch is right. My cart was in reverse, so it shows R. We put it in neutral. And now we're gonna get ready to start doing our firmware. So here you wanna pick out what system you're running. I'm running the Navitas 5 kilowatt TXT 3.015. So we're gonna select that. Do you wanna download firmware? Yes, we do. Go ahead and click on that. Now it's gonna start dropping, okay? Guys, I'm gonna speed this up. This is gonna take a minute. It takes a little bit of while to get this going. Make sure that your cart is parked and blocked and not moving. Very important step. Okay, as soon as it's done, you have to exit out of the app and close it and then restart the app for everything to take effect. So we're just gonna close everything out. We're gonna come back in and reopen everything. And now over there our TAC05 is, we can start over and get ready to set everything up. Okay, it brings us right back to our dashboard and we're still in neutral. We're gonna check everything here. All right, guys, now you gotta go back into your settings we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we're gonna find initialize. Hit initialize, hit yes. And then once that's done, we're gonna hit save changes, yes. And after that, everything should be ready to roll. And that's all you need to know. All right, so guys, if you're installing this on an EasyGo 48 volt system, you get everything hooked up and when you put it in forward, you go reverse. You haven't done your firmware update. Make sure that you do your firmware update as soon as you get installed, that way it corrects everything and then you're ready to rock and roll. Hey guys, thanks for watching the firmware update video. We're going to be dropping a couple more videos to cover timing out and how to properly set up Bluetooth on the Navitas kit. Make sure to stay tuned and follow us. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, go modify.